So, another year over. And 2021 was hell. If you thought 2020 was bad, 2021... A bit worse. Because we've got two new Corona variants running rampant. And... We've got worse at accepting the vaccine. Some people, I feel, aren't accepting that we need a vaccine. Now, I'm not going to be all political here. But to those anti-vaxxers, I do have to warn you. That think of the clinically extremely vulnerable. They don't want to be locked away forever. How do I know this? Someone very close to me is in that group. I haven't seen any of my friends at all. And... Why do you believe such heresy? I long for the Imperium of Man. But that's not about this. That's not about... But this isn't about that. This is more about this past year. The year of returns. Uh, Skylar Healy's returns in the next set. Which I predicted, by the way. Or me and another YouTuber predicted. The return of Halo in Halo Infinite. The return of... Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, baby. The Undisputed Era debuting in AEW. Boba Fett. Twice. The Daleks. Again. Captain Jack Harkness. And the greatest return of this year. CM Punk. Yeah, we knew it was all coming, but we, but boy, we, it was worth the wait, baby. Brian Danielson, AEW, by the way, outdone themselves this year. Much better than Becky Lynch's return, in my opinion, anyway. Mass Effect. I'm midway through Legendary Edition. For me, this has been a year of growth. This has made me remember that there is that rare occasion that reality does harbinge good things. And also, Mass Effect... Oh, Malachi Black as well returning. Mass Effect has taught me that... There must be balance between good and evil. Oh yeah, and Delta Squad from Star Wars The Republic Commando. God, who could forget their return? Well, Scorch's return anyway. Where are the... Where was the rest of the squad, Disney? Where were they? Is it because they're not canon? Revan, The Matrix, which I hear is pretty bad. Bully Maguire. Christopher Eccleston to Big Finish. Twenty twenty one to me really made me reinvent myself. This channel-wise, it's been good. We hit 50 subscribers yesterday. I've started a new wrestling show called NXT, or rebranded NXT 1.0. I'm currently in the middle of filming the first comic, stop-motion comic, for a Lego series that I'm going to do called Welcome to Dystopia. Now, this is set in the Archiverse. 
So the same universe as Riverdale, Sabrina, Katie Keene. Now, don't worry. We aren't going to have any Riverdale-like shenanigans. It's not going to be a complete madhouse. We're not going to have dances and we're not going to have musical episodes to make you cringe galore. Because we know what happens when you make that mistake, <clears throat> Riverdale. So, we I discovered that my Let's Predict the Next Step Season 8 video unexpectedly hit about 3,000 views, I think. And the uh, Mashin Sentai Kira Major adaption hit nearly 5,000. Wow. I'm like, what? Um, also, my Ben 10 videos just hit 1,000 uh, views. And also, wrestling-wise, I've discovered that Wrestling is for me because oh, webcam tune in webcam. Thank you. I prefer and also um, my Mass Effect Star Wars crossover type series. Also, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. My choices and why I made them. And also, I've made unusual videos like, what if Amy from The Next Step was Commander Shepard? Also, a um, Next Steps audio drama where they cross over into the universes of Warhammer 40k. Now, I have had to cancel my Doctor Who audios, the Sleepwalker series, because I've lost touch with The Next Step. I'm not... A fan. I'm not that as much as a fan of it anymore, and therefore I think it's time that I'll still watch my next step YouTubers. Don't worry about that. Um, but um, I feel as though it's too childish for me. So I'm on to the next best thing. A double. Hold on, Kenneth. Wrestling. Yes. By the way, dream match: Miles Ehrlich v Kenny Omega in Japan. Um, Miles Ehrlich can enter with Electric Afterlife. Kenny Omega can enter with Battle Cry. Or Devil Sky, if it's Japan. Um, I can call the match with Brittany Raymond. I would be a heel commentator, just annoying Brittany Raymond. Sorry, going off to my fantasy WrestleMania now. Sorry, Wrestle Kingdom. Um, but yeah, um... Also, I've, I'm more into Warhammer 40k now. Um, things I've got planned. I've got a lot planned for next year. So, I can confirm wholeheartedly that I am making a... Just started writing a diary-like thing for a new Chaos Lord. And I can show you the... Pardon me, the miniature. I've still got a few things to go over. But this... So this was originally an Abaddon, but I'm renaming him Malachi the Death Eater. There's a big clue as to what it crosses over within the word Death Eaters. Camera's not doing very well. But as you can... But if you can see, some of the paint's gone over, so I need to repaint some of it. Um, 
Um, I'm making, writing a diary entry from the viewpoint of my favourite villain of all time, Eobard Dawn, the Reverse Flash. It crosses over with about every universe imaginable. Um, and I actually think he'll contribute to a lot of its canon. Um, so, my hopes for the 2022. My hopes for 2022 is, please get better. Because I don't want another year of coronavirus. I don't want to hear anti-vaxxers. I don't want to hear about all the bad stuff that goes on in the world. I don't want any more of this. Alright, I've sacrificed everything to look after the person who is clinically extremely vulnerable. I have sacrificed quite a lot. So please do not mess it up. Got it? So before we go, this channel, let's hit a hundred, shall we? Or a thousand. That's, out, that's asking for much, too much, isn't it? Oh, and viewers for NXT who understand what the show's about and people who understand what wrestling is, so... If I do something wrong wrong on the show, they can say you could improve this, and I will take your I will take your criticism and bear it in mind. You know because it's about the fans, not the showrunner. You know I'm not some bro who makes it all like Jerry Springer. Um, and, um, also I'm having my next step content gets noticed and I hope that someone recognises my autism videos and takes them into consideration and say, actually, we'll listen to you, Devon. We think your ideas are good and we'll hire you. I mean, I'm never going to be on the next step, really, because, pff, come on, I was asking for a bit too much. Um, so, um, I'm hoping that there's more representation of autism as how I envision it. And I'm hoping that any of the big guys on the next step see some of my content and say this guy is good we should hire him or we should hire him to act right direct etc so I'll say more so see you in the next one so goodbye good night too sweet happy new year